and a floor heat manifold we can do this this is the flow manifold and this is the return so this one loop here that's the flow out this is the return coming back so i can adjust that there by turning the blue cap clockwise you'll see that the red indicator will start to rise up as i close that off it goes right up to zero so that's no flow going through that manifold at all now if i want to open it back up turn the blue cap uh, anti-clockwise again and you see the flow meter down at around one liter a minute with a heat pump system on average about sort of one to 1 1.5 liters per minute would be the average flow that you would need for each circuit i can also adjust these using a little black um, key that comes with the uh, underfloor heating system it's on the bracket so i can turn this here again i can turn that clockwise to close it you can see the red indicator will rise up that's just another way of isolating or, or adjusting your flow in the circuits. Um, if you do have a underfloor heating um, thermostat, you can, um, obviously you'll have a grey actuator on this, so you can't adjust the return. But you can always adjust the flow using a little black indicator. And it'll drop back down to about one and a half litres per minute.